Hi, I'm David Handel, CEO of I Do Recall. I'm going to give you a tour and show you how I Do Recall works on a computer. Our mobile interface varies slightly from what you're about to see. When you create your account, you'll see right away that we have put some onboarding content into the account. IDR has two basic kinds of content, digital space repetition flashcards, which you create, and we call these flashcards recalls. And we also have document files, your learning materials, which you upload into IDR, and we call these files docs. As a result, IDR has two main operating modes, recalls mode and docs mode. Right now, you're looking at recalls mode, and specifically the explore view, where you can view and interact with a list of your recalls. These particular recalls are the onboarding recalls that come with your account. You can edit these, you can delete them. When you mouse over a recall, you'll see the delete icon. If you click elsewhere on a recall, you can edit it. Next, let's inspect the create view. This is very similar to the edit view. As you see, you can add text, images, scientific and math formulae. The question and answer fields have rich text, image upload, and formula entry tools. To invoke the editor, simply select some text or even an empty space and the editor will appear. Here is some editing. Here is an image upload. You can even drag and drop an image right into the question or answer field. Here is a formula created by using LaTeX, a high quality typesetting system that is the de facto standard for communication and publication of scientific documents. This is the tags field. Tags are a fabulous tool for organizing your recalls. For instance, if you're taking a course, say Biology 101, add that tag to all of the recalls that you create for that course. And then you can easily search for and study the collection of recalls for that course. The deadline field is where you add one or more deadlines to a recall, such as the date of your midterm and final exams. IDR will be sure to show you a recall in the two to five day window before your exam. When you create a recall using the create view, the source field is optional. You can paste the URL into the field, such as a relevant Wikipedia page. Then when you practice the recall, if you forget the answer, you can click the URL of the source and it will open in a new browser tab so that you can refresh your memory and quickly get back to your study. There is a search bar at the top of the Explore view. We have a two-minute video dedicated to the topic of searching and sorting in our knowledge base. So I'm not going to go into it in great detail here. But at a high level, you can search by tags, question text, or answer text in any combination. You can sort by when recalls are due to be studied according to our space repetition algorithm. You can sort by the date that you created the recalls or by the grade, meaning how well you've performed on each individual recall. It's a great technique for finding the recalls you're doing most poorly on and being able to take them and go study them extra. Practice mode is where you head to rehearse your recalls. Testing and exercising your memory with effortful recall, even when you're unsuccessful, is the most powerful proven strategy for building robust memories. Here in practice mode, you go through a series of recalls that the IDR space repetition algorithm has assigned for your session today. First, you read the question. Optionally, you can enter a response if you want to be able to keep a record of your responses. Only after you've made your best effort to recall the answer or admit it to yourself that you don't know the answer should you click to reveal it. Here you see all of the fields we have discussed before. In addition, you can edit the recall if you see an error or have some additional material that you wish to add, perhaps something you've learned since you made the recall. The killer feature of ID Recall is the source link. If you created the recall within one of your learning materials, a doc that you uploaded and read in IDR, you can click that source link if you forget the answer and be taken back to the exact spot in the source document where you created the recall. You can then quickly refresh your memory and then get back to studying. The final step in the practice of a recall is to grade how well you were able to recall the answer. To make the algorithm work optimally and best schedule when you should see it again, Try to grade honestly and with consistency. One star means that you have almost no recall of the answer. 
two through five stars or increasing degrees of successful recall with five being easy near perfect recall. After you assign the star rating, click to see the next recall and continue through the day's practice assignment. You can practice recalls which are not due. Simply search and sort through the recalls in Explore View and then click the leaf icons of those recalls which you wish to study. We're not going to cover the progress view, which is still a work in progress for us, but we have high hopes of giving you something very exciting very shortly. We're also going to skip going over your profile view or the more menu in this video, but we have content for this in the knowledge base. The other major mode in ID Recall is Docs mode. Here, you can upload your study materials into IDR. The major file formats which you can upload are PDFs, Word and PowerPoint files, and images such as JPEGs and PNGs. Images are especially useful if you want to take photos of handwritten notes and upload them, or if you take screen grabs of web pages or pages in an e-reader. When you upload files, they initially end up in your inbox. Think of your inbox as a staging area where you process your learning materials. When we say process, we mean reading materials, gaining comprehension of concepts and key facts, and then after you've achieved that comprehension, making recalls right within the file that will be linked to regions of interest in that document. When you practice the recall, if you draw a blank, you can click the source link and immediately see the precise location in the source where you gained comprehension and created that recall. Quickly refresh your memory and get on to the next recall in your practice session. This is the true superpower that ID Recall gives you. You can create recalls based on regions of interest by dropping a pin, creating a text highlight, or drawing a marquee. You can hide and show these annotations, click them to create recalls or to edit a recall that you've already created. By the way, you can click Edit at the footer to change the title of the file, add tags for searching and sorting of your various documents, or add a deadline, the date when you plan to finish processing the document. We'll send you reminder emails and notifications on your device if you like to help you crush procrastination. After you've finished processing a file, move it to your general document library and fight for inbox zero, just like you do in your email. That's most of what you need to know to be a power user. We have more demo tutorials and lots of other helpful content and articles in our help system. Good luck moving to the head of your class.